The beginning of the end came not with a bang or even a whimper, but with a skip. On stage one night in July of 1989, in front of thousands of fans in Bristol, Connecticut, the unthinkable happened. Their pre-recorded vocal track got stuck. I wanted to die. It stopped. Girl, you know it's girl, you know it's girl. 80,000 people. Girl, you know it's girl, you know. You know, I couldn't repeat it 15 times. Girl, you know. It got obvious. Still. So I stopped. I panicked. I ran off stage. Truly Brown, who used to work for MTV, ran after me. I didn't want to go back to stage. I had enough. 80,000 people waiting. I said, I have enough. I quit. So with a bit of pushing and screaming, a couple of F words, I think, as well. Um, I got them back out there. And the funny thing is, they got back out there, and nobody cared. The audience didn't care. It was more, basically, people were laughing at them behind the scenes, more than in front. The biggest nightmare a lip sync artist could ever have. I don't think the crowd really got it. I don't think they really knew, but unfortunately, there were a lot of reviewers there, and uh, they were ripped apart in the, in the review. It was the turning point in their career. In one minute, they went from Millie Vanilli pop powerhouse to Millie Vanilli marked man. Here we go, the category tonight, top 10, top 10 new jobs for Millie Vanilli. <laughs> number 10, open law firm of Jacoby Myers, Millie Vanilli. Uh, number nine, camp counselors in Father Flanagan's Pretty Boys Town. Uh, number eight, Jamaican pickpockets in American Express commercial, number seven. Rob and Fab knew their web of deceit was unraveling even further when one night Fab looked up at the TV and saw a Milli Vanilli parody on the show In Living Color. But I see two guys on TV and I'm like, wow, that looks like us. One looks like Rob, the other one looks like me. So I say, shut up guys, you know, let's turn that up. Now you are doing Milli Vanilli. So get a friend because it takes two jerks to be Milli Vanilli. Remember, don't forget our number. So act now because we are almost out of style. And that was the shock for Robin for me. It was like, whoa, busted. <laughs>